फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट द लर्निड काउंसिल हैज फर्दर आर्ग्यूड दैट रिजर्वेशन इज फॉर पार्टिसिपेशन एंड रिप्रजेंटेशन एंड कैन नोट बी यूज फॉर पॉवर्टी एलिविएशन रिजर्वेशन इन पब्लिक इम्प्लॉयमेंट इज टू रिवर्स डिस्क्रिमिनेशन एंड टू इक्वेलाइज रिप्रजेंटेशन providing government jobs cannot pave a way for economic upliftment whereas other ways of providing subsidies etc is a kind of affirmative action to eliminate poverty indeed poverty alleviation is a goal for the state to strive for as per directive principles of state policy but reservation is not a way to alleviate poverty as is evident from the statistics that despite decades of reservation in favor of scs sts and obcs they are still poor relying on the decision of this court in minerva mills limited it was stated that alleviation of poverty has to be done without trampling on fundamental rights welfare steps can be taken under dpsp but it cannot be done under article 15 unless there has been discrimination on the grounds mentioned in article 15 as otherwise the character of article 15 is changed and results in abrogating the fundamental rights as reiterated by this court in indra sahani case article 164 has to be in consonance with and in furtherance to article 161 similarly article 166 also has to be in furtherance of equality of opportunity under article 161 so if article 166 is violative of article 161 it cannot sustain itself in the scheme of the constitution further relying upon three judge bench decision of this court in indra sahani case the learned council had submitted that by providing reservation to forward class the identity of backward class is erased and therefore such reservation is illegal hitting at the roots of the constitution moreover if the forward class becomes backward it can come under obc so as to benefit from reservation she would reason that the 103rd constitution amendment is discriminatory to scs and sts as the people falling in ews are approximately 5% and for these 5% of people 10% of reservation is provided the learned council would further submit that the amendment in question is arbitrary to for there is no mechanism or procedure laid down for it as under article 
for identification of genuine EWS. Learned Council has based its submission on the ground that the amendment in question. Learned Council has submitted that this amendment has created two levels of classification first between the classes already covered under articles 15.4 and 16.4 and those who were not which has resulted in caste based classification second within the forward class between those who were economically weaker and those who were not such classification in his opinion not only defeats the goal of casteless society as envisaged by the constituent assembly but also attempts to create vertical reservation inside a vertical reservation which is not permitted under the constitution the learned council has further submitted that as held by this court in indra sahani if castelessness is an ideal of the constitution and if this ideal goes into the basic identity of the constitution then the constitutional amendment even if passes the test of equality violates the basic structure he has also urged that the condition of adequate representation that controlled article 164 is intentionally excluded from articles 156 and 166 reservation once starts has to end it cannot be in perpetuity he has further argued that the amendment in question is violative of the constitution in as much as grant of reservation to already sufficiently represented classes while excluding those who were inadequately represented offends not only the equality code but also the principle of fraternity as recognized in the preamble to the constitution he has supported his contentions while relying upon decisions of this court learned council has based its submissions on modern jurisprudence citing academic scholarship to submit that two things are to be considered while dealing with discrimination law first the immutability and second it should constitute fundamental choice relativity of poverty is opposed to immutability he has further submitted that the 103rd amendment in the context of exclusion made the forward communities as protected group and the backward class as cognate group which is impermissible the amendment in question strips off the right of backward class candidates to contest the seats kept in open category to which they are entitled to the learned council has argued that this amendment fails the preference test by giving preferential treatment to forward class and taking it away from backward class who are inadequately represented he has further submitted that the living tree approach should be applied to interpret the constitution as per the changing circumstances of the society learned council has 
also argued that fundamental rights are individualistic in nature and while relying on the decision of this court he would submit that the individual is the focal point because it is only in the realization of individual rights of the class affected stop